Hello, this is Dalamir, and welcome to another repair video. In this video, we're working on a Samsung Galaxy A51. It's the 515 model, or 4G. And the issue it's having is that it is not charging properly. If I plug this in right now, it should pop up and immediately say, hey, I'm charging, and then put that little green circle and that's spinning and showing the percentage. It's not doing that. And if I go and I test it, with my amp reader, you'll notice likewise, that it's taken absolutely nothing. There isn't a drop of amperage going into that. In fact, it goes to the point where it just turns off. Now, I can't really show it very well. I've tried looking inside of that charge port itself, and I can't see anything that would indicate that there's damage. Yet, it does, to me, look like there's pins missing. That's as best as I can tell. And if I take my really tiny little cheapo microscope here you can see right there inside there to me it looks like there's pins missing right there like i don't see anything right there there should be a pin there and sometimes on the sides they can get damaged i don't see any damage to the sides per se but uh, that might be another issue that's showing so i got this little board here I purchased. Now you might wonder why didn't why why wouldn't I just replace the port? Just replace the port itself. This port is 30 cents. I can buy this port for 30 cents. This board as a whole costs about eight dollars, maybe seven dollars, something around there. Now, why would I go for the expensive board over just buying a buying a cheap, really cheap port instead? Well, a simple answer to that is this will take nowhere near as much time as it will if I was to try to solder in a new one. That's as simple as it is. So what we got to do first, we got to get this back, this back uh, cover off first, so we're going to have to heat it up. So before we do any of that, let's take out our SIM tray. Got that out. That's good to go. Heat this up. This is made out of plastic, so it's... So it's it's not it shouldn't crack on you while you're trying to get it off, but you still want to be careful. So let's heat the whole pull back up until it's just hot to the touch. You'll notice me just constantly going and checking how hot it's getting in this corner here. I also have some alcohol here as well, which I'll be using to help loosen up the adhesive underneath. Here we go, it's nice and hot. Okay. So I just got a little razor blade here. I'm just gonna poke it down just lightly and then lift a little bit. I'm not lifting up much. I'm treating it as if it's made of glass. It's not, but I like to do that anyways. Just put a little drop of alcohol in there. You're just lifting it up a little bit just to get it lifted so you can get one of these plastic cards in here. You can get a pile of these from, from Amazon. There you go. Oh, look how easy that went in. Smooth as butter. You don't need to put on much. I'm just putting in a about uh, a quarter of an inch, three or four millimeters, maybe five millimeters. Nice. Now I want to replace the screen, but I'm not willing to replace the screen yet. I'm only willing to replace the screen after I found out whether or not it is actually the charge port. Because if it's a much larger issue, the time involved in fixing this phone may not be worth it. So go for the things that are the easiest and least expensive. Most specifically, least expensive. Because the screens for most of the Samsung phones are OLEDs. They're not, uh, they're not LCD, they're OLED. Come on, screw, get out. There we go, all the screws are out. Now I'm just gonna pop this open right here. For the most part, with those screws off, this is relatively easy to get off of. There. Just clipped on. Oh, look at that. Okay, there's no ribbons on this holding it in place, which is nice. So I have to pop the, uh, the battery out first, and then we're gonna get this main ribbon cable out we are and there's the board right there and then we gotta get out so I'm gonna disconnect that fingerprint reader I'm pretty sure that's what that is 
and the screen. Now we gotta get this board out. Uh, and sometimes they are stuck down with glue. And sometimes it's just held in place. I'm noticing right here there's water damage. There is actually water damage on the board. I see some right here and some right here. So that may be the real culprit and it has nothing to do with the port. And that may actually explain why that may explain why this board, why this char the, the, this uh, charge board isn't working is because it's got water damage. Yeah, all about that. It needed to be replaced regardless. That's that's reassuring because as you guys saw earlier, I didn't see I didn't see any pins broken, and I didn't see like pieces of metal from those pins. So it's uh, it's 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 good to see that. There we are. As you can see, there is some adhesive right there. It is held in with adhesive. And this one doesn't have any adhesive. I'm gonna remove this sticker because it's, it's just gonna collect dust. Here we go. That's in place. Connect back up the screen. Connect back up the fingerprint reader. Now for the buttons to work, the home button, not the home button, the uh, power button, you gotta reconnect this back up together. So let's get that back. Let's get back in here. There we go. Man, that is in rough shape. I bought this off of a customer for about $20 because I wasn't really sure whether or not it would even turn on. I'm taking a chance here. Okay, let's get it plugged in. Will we get something out of this now? Just plug this back in so the screen lights up on my amp reader. What do we got? That is super disappointing. Is it possible that the battery is flat, like completely flat, and that's why it's not working anymore? I could try um, boosting the battery. Just see if that does the trick. Is it just me or does it look like there's a little bit of water right there? Water damage, I should say. Maybe right here as well. Yeah, it does look like that. It's working now. Why is it working now when it wasn't before? Okay, let's just try that again. But it does look like, I might be wrong, but it does look like there's a little bit of water damage on the board. Why is it not working now? Well, it had been working and now it's not. I'm still theorizing maybe the battery is just super flat. But that water damage that I'm seeing on the board is concerning to me. I'm gonna just put a little bit of alcohol on there. Those two spots that I was seeing the alcohol and I'm just gonna give it a brush down with a toothbrush. Watch out for the lenses there. Now I do have a hypersonic, it's a hypersonic cleaner that could help with this. So maybe I could give that a go. But if there is water damage and it's underneath these plates, I mean, Joe, I didn't see a lot of water. Like it was, it looked like corrosion. If there isn't a lot, then maybe it won't, it won't have seeped into uh, underneath those plates. Okay, so we've given that a bit of a scrub. Let's see if that makes a difference. I saw it come up once, so I don't know it's odd. Nothing at all now, though. I'm really tempted to take the battery out and just and just see if that makes a difference. Oh, it's coming up now. Well, how about that? Oh, I forgot about that lens being magnetic. I'm just gonna let it be for a bit. I'll come back to it and see how much it's drying. Well, it's the next day, and I'll be honest with you guys, I'm really groggy right now. But this has been charging, it's like just leaving it out, running overnight, and plugged in, and it's just no change whatsoever. So it's, uh, so we're gonna take this frame off, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the main motherboard out. I'm thinking I'm gonna go and put it into a, uh, I'm gonna put it into a hypersonic cleaner and that will be specifically done in an isopropyl alcohol bath. Now let's just take a quick look. There's a screw right there. 
Do I see any other screws? No, that's the only one. All right, so I gotta disconnect this camera as well and take out that solitary screw. Seeing that water damage, that tiny amount of water damage there has just got me a bit worried. And I'm seeing this water indicator. You see that right there? It's red as red can be red. Ah, uh, yeah. See that? That's a lot of water damage. Now, these two cameras, three cameras, four cameras? Can I disconnect those? I hope I can because I don't really want those to be in the hypersonic cleaner. If it does come out, it pushed downwards. It does come out. Very good. Makes me feel very happy to see that came out so easily. So there's definitely some water damage to this board. I can't see it all. I'm not seeing it. There is a small amount on the circuit right down here, I can see, for bits that are visible. I don't really see any. Oh, there's some more right there. More water damage. So on this occasion, it does have a heating element to it, and I think I don't want that to be turned on. I'm gonna leave that turned off. I should be able to reuse this alcohol if I give it a good filter. There we go. Perfect. It's completely submerged. Putting it on for five minutes. There we go. It's not really... kind of see why they would prefer you to use the basket. Well, it's the next day, and it went through the whole process, and uh, I put it on my heating mat even at 90 degrees Celsius, removed all the alcohol, dry as dry can be dry, not really necessary, but I wanted to make absolutely sure that there would be nothing interfering at all with this. As far as I know, alcohol is non-conductive, but still not taking any chances. Let's see if this charges. Here's the amp meter. Let's give this another shot. See if all that stuff has cleared out. Will it work now? Nope, not at all. Not really sure what to do here. Well, there's something that has come to my attention while I was working on this phone. I completely bathed, as, as you saw in an early clip there, I completely bathed that in alcohol and put it into my hypersonic cleaner. Cleaned out very well, replaced that charge port, and I've tested it thoroughly and it still won't charge. But I've noticed Let's see if I can bring that up for you guys. There's, right there, there is some corrosion. And it's the same here as well. I would prefer to put this underneath a microscope, but I don't think this is going to show up all that well on camera. So there is a bit of corrosion there. All right, that's cleaned up pretty good. I'm just going to go and use the other side with some alcohol and give it a good rub down with that just to get the remaining solution off of there. I think that's cleaned up pretty darn good. How's that? Oh, that's a lot better. This one, this one's a little bit, I'm not sure what. It's got something going on it. I have my on my microscope here. I'm going to delve underneath there and see if there's anything else that I can do for it. Maybe I can get this in in camera there for you. So just looking at it underneath the microscope here, you can see that just that came out beautifully for those two. Those ones were really bad. How about this one? It still has a little bit of corrosion there, but it's not in the area where it's going to connect. I'm still going to give it another rub down with a little bit more of the uh, the polishing agent and then more alcohol. Hopefully that'll do the trick. And the other one up here, right there, it looks not bad. It's got some sort of, I wouldn't say it's corrosion. I don't really know what that is, but it's not in the place that would be problematic. So let's get a little bit more polishing agent on there. Oh, that's way too much. That'll do. And I'm gonna go over this again. Don't know if that is done any better. I'm just going to give all of them a bit of a rub down. I don't think they need it, but why not? It'd be amazing if that's really all that was necessary. It's just to give those a bit of a cleaning. These points have been all 
cleaned up. The ones that were connecting here, there, where would this one go? That one there would have been right here. It looks fine. Let's give it a go. I'll put it back on and just see if that's really all that it needed. Now, I didn't put the camera in yet. I don't think it'll turn on. It shouldn't. I don't believe the battery has any juice left in it. When I first got the phone, it actually did have a tiny amount of juice left in it. Maybe around 20-ish percent. Nope. So what I need to work out now at this point is what has shorted out. Now, I can think about the places where there's where there was water damage in contact. There was some water damage. There was some water damage in this area. And I think that's about it. There was water damage in this area here. So I wonder if one of the chips there is fried. And that might be what the problem is. I also noticed that there was a little bit of water damage like right, right here in this area. So I could check around here to see and maybe even decap this shield and see what's going on underneath there as well. That's the only things that I can think of. See if there's something that has blown underneath there. I am pretty lost at this point. But it's definitely a future video. So it might be super disappointing for me, but it may not be disappointing for you guys. I don't think you really have seen me too much underneath a microscope. I'm recording that. So it might be pretty interesting. So look forward to in the Samsung Galaxy A51 underneath the microscope video. Thank you guys all for watching. If you like the video, please do leave a like. If you want to see more of my stuff, subscribe. See you guys all in another video.